I've learned that Americans don't actually have kettles. In England, because of India, they put milk in tea and chai and things like that. If you put milk in your tea in Russia or in a lot of places in Europe, they look at you funny. We learnt this by being looked at funny. I can't drink tea quietly. Hello. Привет, Даша. Мы делаем фильм про чай, так что самовары. Mm -hmm. English have their really beautiful tea sets and the cups and the Russians have the samovar and everything that goes with that. I honestly think the Russians are more obsessed with tea than the English are. There is a word chaipitya which literally translates to tea drinking but it means more than that. Chaipitya is the fellowship that comes with tea. Мы спросили разные друзья вокруг мира, чтобы они сделали чай хороший и снимали видео, как они чай делают. Я хотел спросить, если возможно использовать твою песню про чай и зум. So the tea related word that's drifted into the Australian language is cuppa. Let's have a cuppa. It kind of means coffee now as well, but it's, it's, we all know it's really just about tea. I was asked to tell how I'm making my own tea. Uh, which is something I don't really do often because I drink coffee. I put water on and I walk out in the garden. As the tomatoes. I chop off some of this and I pray to God that it's not poisonous. Well, actually, this is peppermint. Heading back. Hi, wife. Uh, yeah. And voila. Coffee for me and tea for my wifey. That could be idea for the song. Это было время, когда все сидели на изоляции, на карантине, сделали что-то веселое, когда мы все дома. What you're going to need is elderflower, some lemon, honey, very, very, very hot water. And we're gonna have to wait for about two minutes or maybe three. It's gonna be brilliant. Soon we're having some friends come over via Skype for a games night that I'm hosting and. I'm using this as an excuse to put on a nice shirt and a jacket and the last time I wore this tie I didn't untie it because I'm not used to tying ties so I keep it like this. Welcome to my kitchen. It's the sharing of conversations, the learning about different cultures, the spending time with your friends that is my favorite thing about coming together over a cup of tea. I wanted to make a film that was sort of an excuse to drink some tea and let's be real, it's not exactly a documentary about tea. I think you can make an entire show about the history of tea and the culture of tea drinking around the world. I wanted to make a little film just about connection. I think we've all taken it for granted for so long and the virus has shown us that it's not to be taken for granted. <laughs> So we're about to call. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm wearing a tie. I feel sophisticated now. Luke is joining us from Japan. Amanda is joining us from Ukraine. And Esther and Ula are joining us from Norway. And Andrew's in Australia. I'm next door. I have tea as well. Wait, let me grab a cup real quick. <laughs> Welcome to game night. I was yeah. we have someone else joining the call. <gasps> ben! Hey guys! Ben is joining from England. You're all good, yeah? We're good, yeah. yeah. You're recording the call? Yeah. yeah, this is for the documentary. <laughs> What's the most English thing that you've ever done with tea? Yeah, I, I think I agree with you. I think the water is first. I think we should get started on a game. I'm going to switch off these things. Mm -hmm.